Hello, this is Patron Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Chinese SKS series. This is the reassembly. So let's check it out. <laughs> All right, the next thing is to put it back together. Um, you take your barreled receiver and you line it back up in your stock. Maybe. You have three hands, that works good. So you clip that together. All right. Uh, the next thing, um, you can put your, yeah. If you take your, your bayonet, if you have it extended, you can drop that down to halfway. And you can reinsert your uh, cleaning rod. And you don't have to do it right now, but might as well. Close up your, your uh, nope. Make sure it's all the way in. Then you close it up. All right. So from here, then you would go with your magazine. Now, like I said, I, I did bring out the other magazines. When I first purchased this rifle, the original owner um, had the internal magazine removed, right? Because for the use of like one of these 30 round uh, Tapco duck build magazine. Now there's a 30 round and it also came with the five round, which is like a flush mount. Um, these are removable, right? And so basically it locks in, uh, I'll show you. So we'll put the trigger guard, trigger assembly in first. Then I'll have to come back and change it later. Uh, first thing I did was to remove that because, well, I don't, don't really care for the, um, that style magazine, I, I like it original. Um, basically, you line up your trigger assembly back in, you put the, the front towards the uh, muzzle in first, and then you just push down until it clicks, maybe. There, and then it snaps in. All right, um, we'll show off how these work. Um, but basically, uh, let's move that out of the way. Uh, in the front of where your magazine fits, there's a little notch in the wood, right? That's just for clearance for the, the original magazine up here, right? Which is this, this portion, which is a little rounded. And with these, these magazines, uh, like the duck bill, um, basically they hook in to that round portion, right, of the magazine. So it's basically this metal against wood, right? And so over time, obviously, that's going to wear out. But then it rocks back, and the back of it gets locked by your your lever here. So we'll reassemble, and then we'll show you how those look um, in case you're privy to that. So um, the next thing, since we have our trigger assembly in, um, we'll grab our short piston. Right? You get your coil spring and your short piston and put them together. All right. And I'm actually going to grab this long uh, piston from the upper hand guard right to reinsert it so you make sure that 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 lever that is uh next to your uh, rear sight okay um, basically you line those back in and you insert the spring first all right now to push this in i basically i just use the the end of the piston which actually comes in contact with that part anyway and i basically push it in there and then when i clip that back to the 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock position it retains that and then you can grab your upper hand guard all right reinsert your long piston all right uh, you make sure that it's not sticking out and then what you do is you just reinsert that slide her down um, into the gas port or your gas block in the front all right make sure that's in and then you line up the back of this um, and you slide it in and depending on if you have your uh, your lever in the right position it'll just slide in All right and so once that slid in then you just basically rotate that lever counterclockwise till 
locks into the detent, which is, like I said, about seven o'clock. All right, so that portion is done. All right, the next thing is your bolt and your bolt carrier. All right, uh, the handle of the bolt carrier goes towards the muzzle um, in case it got disorientated. Um, underneath there, um, if you grab your bolt, right, like I said, the, the smooth portion, the rectangle, is towards the bottom of your rifle. Uh, the portion of the firing pin that extends out, right, that actually goes to the buttstock, right, and then basically it, it just fits to the base of your, your thing. It locks kind of in, but it doesn't, right, it's not really going to uh, stay in there. So um, when I reassemble it, I usually have the rifle laying on its side just to make it a little easier. Um, if you move your, that retaining clip for your dust cover, it doesn't really have to be, but I get it out of the way. Um, so basically, I just lay it on its side, and I bring it to the very rear of the receiver, right? And I go to s install it. Now, uh, normally, if you have your that internal magazine, you want that magazine to be dropped, right? So you you pull back on the lever so that it swings free down here. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to slide your bolt forward. All right, so now it's in the forward position all the way home. Uh, the next, you grab your spring assembly, coil den first, and you insert it into that, uh, into the hole in the top of your uh, bolt carrier group. Right, so you slide that in. Um, you can push this forward so that it locks, kind of locks on a portion of the receiver, um, just one of the ledges in there. You just want to be careful because this is under pressure um, and to reinstall your dust cover right your your uh, retaining lever has to be totally vertical so 90 degrees so 12 o'clock position and pulled all the way out all right um, with that be careful of that spring because if it comes off it'll obviously shoot and hurt something so basically you lay your gas cover or your uh, dust cover back on right and Push it all the way forward with, like that. Then you can drop your pin back in and then rotate uh, clockwise to the three o'clock position, which is pointing towards your muzzle. All right, so that's that's that. Now you can you know, see how that works. With the internal magazine, when it's empty, it locks your bolt to the rear, all right? Well, it doesn't do that without that magazine. If you're using these uh, duck build style magazines, these aftermarket things, if, if that's you know what you're privy to, um, it's not going to lock the bolt home unless you have a magazine in it. And so we'll just stick this one in here, which I don't really care for. But like I said, I'm just going to show you guys. So, um, but to put the magazine in, you slide it to the front and then rock it to the back, maybe. I don't really mess with these. It might be too far. Yeah, let's pull it over here. Like I said, I haven't used these, so. Okay, this is the 30 round duck bill magazine installed. Now, this is the way I actually got it when I purchased this rifle. As soon as I got it, I removed this Tapco uh, magazine and I reinstalled the 10 round internal box magazine. Now, obviously there's some reasons why some people go this route. Um, if you're in an area that's restricted and you can't find an AK or they're not allowed in your area, maybe you go this route because SKSs are Kind of uh, restriction proof maybe now if you try to hunt with these and you're in an area that limits your rounds like five rounds or whatever that's why you might want to pick up one of these duckbill flush mount five round magazines so obviously you got to check your laws and all that kind of stuff but there are options out there um, i personally i don't uh, use this so i'm actually going to take this apart and reinstall the internal box magazine and then we'll wrap this up Okay, so now I have everything back and reassembled. 
the buttstock is to the left, the muzzle is to the right. The 10 round internal magazine is reinstalled. Now I kind of skipped over this, um, but basically how you reinstall that is you insert the front of the magazine towards your uh, muzzle end first, right? You slide that in and then you slide the back of the magazine up into the stock. And then when you reinstall your trigger assembly, it'll actually capture it. So you put in your, uh, the front portion of your trigger assembly first, and then when you clip it down and it locks back in, that makes it all nice and tight. So once you do anything with your firearm, you want to make sure you do a function test. Uh, right now we're on uh, safe. Pull the trigger, nothing happens. We're going to rack the charging handle to the rear. It locks back because now we have that uh, internal box magazine reinstalled. So we're going to drop the trap door. All right. We're going to ride that home. All right. Now we're going to switch it on fire. Pull the trigger. All right. I still have this magazine open, so I'm going to rack it one more time. And it's not going to stay back because this is open. So now we can close it up, put it back on safe. Um, I know I spent some time with the Duckbill magazines. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, the um, more you use them, uh, like I said, this is metal and on the wood stock is going to be, you know, kind of wear in. So it'll probably end up being easier. Since I've never used these, that's why they were so difficult to stick in there. But uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you check out the full series of the SKS uh, and the AK and several other ones, as well as the descriptive series that I have. They're all playlists on the channel. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make it an outstanding day and never fear the dark.